You see that date? That date down there? Between that date and the last date that I played Shadow on my GameCube, it just got left on and I didn't even fucking realize it. Kind of a nightmare. Um, I'm sick. Kind of sucks. Hmm. No, I went on like a eight hour drive. Fork stuff yesterday. I didn't get to play much of this game. But, uh, seeing as how I've gotten, started getting sick, I'm just gonna see how many runs of this game I can do. Hmm. More shadow. I'm really hoping that my fucking game console doesn't like burn by the time I can finish this because a lot like sink into last game ish on this console that I have to play. Hmm. What are we doing? Shadow the Hedgehog. Did we do six? Why does that name haunt me? See, I write this stuff down so I can just look. And that gruesome image. Oh my god, what a nightmare if I did a we did five last time. Let's put a little uh, separator here. There we go. Maria. Maria does speed run. Who am I? And why can't I remember anything? And scrolling for number six. Let's see. Shadow. The Hedgehog. Run list. Oh my God. Number six, Effigy of Darkness. And three, three darks in, in a row. Look how pathetic they are. I don't have time for these humans. God. Just what was that all about? If he says right. he knows the truth about who I am, I know what I'm doing. Not, I have to believe him. The only way I'm going to get the secrets to my past is to get those chaos emeralds. Let's go. My favorite stage in the game, Westopolis. Is there a way to speed up while I'm falling? I swear there was, like you hold B and he like nose dives. One. Hey Shadow, long time no see. Looks like these black creatures really need Damn, imagining doing a run where uh I disable all the guys. Like a Nathaniel Bandy kind of thing or Nico B type of shit. You gotta save all the good guys. That guy's like impossible to save. Pass this run would be over in three seconds. One of the only times that a guy helps me with something. It's not actually killed that guy for me. love to dress up or something for this, but I'm like, I'm so fucking, like, I can feel it coming on. I woke up this morning, actually, when I was going to bed last time, I, my throat kind of felt icky, and that, uh, definitely had, like, a 
install this one, I'm like, shit, I am so getting sick right now. There's only really two types of sicks I get. It's like top of my throat sick or bottom of my throat sick. There's definitely a bottom of my throat sickness, which isn't the worst. It's one of those sickness where I feel like I can talk if I need to. So. Let's not forget these three guys down here. Down here or just squad wipe. I think I almost always Chaos Blast this area, and that's how I missed those two guys earlier. Or maybe not. I didn't even hit them. I, I have no idea how I never knew that these guys existed. Check. The alien trigun. It's only got two little. Oh no, it does. It's going in the middle. Yeah, I know. If I fucking dress up and shit, when I'm feeling like this, I'm like, no way. I don't know if I got a fever, I'm just gonna look like a fucking zombie. I'm not sick for Halloween night. That would suck. Because Taylor right now isn't sick, and uh, hopefully I'll start feeling better around them. But that, if he gets it between now and and then, it's like it's over. Though I'm the only person in my family actually that gets sick and just like keeps it for like a long time. It feels like whenever I get sick, it's it's fucking hell on earth for like two weeks, no matter what happens. Someone is going to the doctor right now for it, but sickness doesn't usually affect my family as much as it does me, so hopefully it won't be so bad. I wonder what's in the other of those uh, key boxes. Oh, this thing should have like a turret or gun on it or something. It's like it feels slower than the other one. It's like thinking to myself, like, oh my god, how do I keep missing guys? There's 35 guys on the very first mission they want you to get. You gotta get all of them. I think the last two guys are gonna be back here. I'm gonna actually pick that up. Makes sense, I don't fucking play this game anymore. As much as, like, I used to play other Sonic games. There we go. I used to stream, like, nine hours of Sonic games. I can't tell if it was Heroes or Shuffle that made me want to stop playing. Anybody who gets in my right. way is my enemy. A lot. Like, two hours is enough for me. Maybe Shuffle? I don't know. Mm. Shuffle was... I don't know, though. Heroes was fucking bad. Heroes was really bad. Like... If I did heroes and then shuffle, we'd be have we'd have a whole different fucking outcome. I don't even know if I would have made it through shuffle. Attention, emergency broadcast to all mobile units. Headquarters. Uh, they're all different fucking units. games, of course not. <laughs> Completely different. If anything, I think getting to play heroes after shuffle was empowering. To some extent, like even though like, or did I do SA2? I, I did SA2 after. I remember that. Yeah, that was a magical feeling. Sorry. I can control which way this leads. It's fucking. It's become a multi-year-long marathon. 
God. I think every Sonic game is terrible. Like, 100%. I don't think any of them have been that fun. The dimp schemes really made me feel something. Like, I streamed them just until I got them done. We're doing good. Good guy, bad guy. How are we feeling today? That was a dark. I think I gotta do another dark again. Every time. It was breaking in Heroes, but... Or, I mean, of course Shuffle was the hardest, right? But Heroes was pretty goddamn bad. How did I not die there? Brain dead. If you ask me... Hear me out here. I think I think it's just been a downward spiral. Of course, you have... Uh, when I first started playing Sonic games... I didn't play them 24-7 all the time. In fact, they weren't even streamed to begin with. Until I uh, started just getting really comfortable doing long sessions of them. So it was kind of like a, a little bit of a graph. It went up. Peaked up pretty high around uh, SA-1. SA-1 was pretty fucking hard in terms of getting that that was the first game that I was like this this is not actually going to be fun <laughs> uh, better better you know fun in at least fun to a normal person with a fully functioning brain because because I I enjoy putting myself through things sometimes I guess you know I I've, I've been told that I wouldn't really necessarily say I, I masochistly like these games, I'm like putting myself through painful situations like this. I definitely like don't like doing them alone, but I will say I don't know because you get further past my peak of how comfortable I was doing really long sessions of these, and it's just. Shuffle or not, I would have gotten to this point eventually. So I can't, I can't put it all in a fucking party game. Think you can make it down there? I think I can. Shadow gun sucks at these walls. Aww, stupid balls. Maybe you can ride that light that's flowing upward. Shuffle was more breaking in a way of, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to get this done. I know I'm going to get this done, it's just... It's a, it's a... Oh my god, please. Oh, bro. I don't know whether I like, don't, I, like, I don't know if I like or hate. New voices added to Sonic. Every time I get to a game with them, because it's generally the direction, and if I don't like them in one entry, I'll like them in another one where there's just better voice direction. The entire fucking Heroes had such terrible voice direction. It's objectively terrible in so many ways. I gave uh, the lady behind it way too much of a hard time. They fucking like, bullied them into making it terrible. Maybe you can ride that light that's flowing upward. Here we go. I always die to one thing, one stupid thing on this stage. Where's the cube that cock blocks me? Just gotta jump onto it. Make my life easier. SA2 was actually probably one of the most fun ones for me to do. <clears throat> always jump and dodge that guy. Mm. 
SA2 was actually probably one of the hardest ones in terms of skill. I still think Metal Harbor was really surprisingly difficult compared to almost anything else in that game to get an A rank. I only ended up A-ranking it after just... I don't even know how I did it. I couldn't do it again if I, you know, if I was told to do it with a set amount of time because it's literally like every guide online, I didn't even follow the way they did it. I like, I think I just played perfectly <laughs> because I didn't get, like, there's two ways you could do it. You get every ring or you get the score. Somehow I got the score, which people just said was like fucking almost impossible, and it was easier for me than getting every ring. In fact, in my opinion, you have to, to get every ring on that stage, you kind of have to play actually like perfect. As opposed to having a bunch of ways to mess up and still make it. Well, that's besides the point. I actually quite like difficulty in these games. I think that's... That was invigorating. I enjoyed that. It made going into Heroes, you know, like... I felt like I come out, came off something. Heroes! Oh, man. When I got to Heroes and I first played that, that tutorial level and it just... The, the gameplay was mind-numbing for me. I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you go into these games with a really, really different mindset when you're looking to 100% them. Lots of people will enjoy Heroes over other titles. Um, just because of the fact they're like, oh dude, I could like play this for like 3 seconds comfortably. You know, as opposed to other games where like, I don't want to spend more than 3 seconds in this. So like... God. Yeah, certain Sonic games, once you get past... Where? Okay. Once you get past that comfortable beginning, some of them just have this ridiculously unfun curve to them, and Heroes was definitely one of those. I getting the true ending on Heroes is very, very difficult, and just it's it's a marathon. It's probably one of the most marathon games because you just played the same thing like four times. I do feel comforted knowing that my playthrough and the way that I chose to play that game is online. So, like, you know what? If you think I'm wrong, like, you can see, like, understand. Understand my pain. Because I, I don't think that my pain was unwarranted there. I was really trying. Shadow the Hedgehog is not bad, actually. Shadow the Hedgehog is actually way more fun and more comfortable for me than Heroes. Going for 100%. I enjoy the story way more in Heroes. Or, I mean, in Shadow. I mean, the ending of Heroes goes, like, harder than almost any ending in a Sonic game. But the rest of it is just, like, you play the same thing over and over. Whatever I just think that the humans is no Shadow, something about its game is just boring. It's better than Heroes, but it's boring. And that's why people just fucking hate it. And that's why, I like, maybe I'm just not as enticed to play, like, five million fucking playthroughs of this game in a row and do, like, nine-hour streams back to back. I just get bored. I feel like that's hard to do for me. Because... Shuffle kept me entertained by the fact that it was so far on the opposite spectrum. It wasn't even boring to me anymore because it was like pain, you know? Just nonstop pain of rolling the dice over and over and over again, having the CPUs fuck me. Like, and just like to the point where I would just play Shuffle for hours and hours and hours, sit there and stare at the game. Just praying. Just praying I get the RNG to unlock the last event. Not knowing how to do it or what must have it was exciting. I, it was the point where it was like, well, no one's ever done this before. It was really one of the only times that I felt like I had to. I, I was I was really treading new ground during this, and that was that was really cool. I I felt like I was treading new ground a lot through uh, SA One as well. Though of course it's all been done before. Everybody loves SA One. It's just some of those extra challenges you, you can't like. There's like only a couple of recorded evidences online with like 40 views. And I'm like, oh my god. Nobody really does do this. <laughs> I am. I want to die. Damn, not here. I got what I want. Um. Hey, look, it's a 
But like with Shuffle, there was there's no recorded video evidence of it ever being 100%ed in. I mean, that was exciting. Shadow, it it, it is like the Sonic game that's like so explicitly like hard to 100% that uh, I, I'm. And there's obviously no recorded footage of it online of people doing every single. At least I don't think so. Um, it, it might there might be. I, I I just don't care to look it up. I guess that's more evidence that this game bores me. But it's such an extreme challenge that a lot of people do know about. How there's like 326 runs of this game. And lots of people have completed it. I don't always care if there's like video evidence of doing it. Though it is it is exciting to say like, yeah, I'm the only person in like the fucking world that has like video of them playing every single Sonic game to 100% completion. That's just... That's cool. Though I, I don't get a lot of excitement out of Shadow. I'm, I'm fucking terrified because this one is so long that I'm just gonna like miss a VOD or something. Because the way YouTube swaps VODs over from Twitch, and it's the only way I know how to do it until like one day maybe I move to YouTube, which is this whole bag of worms. And once that happens, I'll be recording the videos though. If I ever jump platforms and I don't know how they work because I, I don't want to get... Those can hit me? Yeah, and I, I don't want to get uh, screwed out of a VOD. That's just a nightmare, man. It's like... Okay, hopefully I didn't miss any. I haven't been paying attention, but this should be number two. I don't think it matters if I take one here. I don't know. It just, it, it, it opened my mind playing Sonic Shuffle, and I, I think for some reason it, it was one of the most exciting, oh my god, this guy sucks, dude. This guy's fucking shrekking me. Oh my god, the cat on the table. Alright, let's, let's chill. This is, this is a first. This fucking thing is a problem. This thing needs to get removed. I hate this thing. Fuck me, dude. Look, I don't want to talk about my camera setup. You don't want to hear about my camera setup, but it's not amazing. Okay. Ugh. It fucking sucks ass. You know, I got a Wii sensor bar put on top of my, my laptop or my monitor, and it makes where I'm going to put my camera so fucking hard. I'm like, sucks. Now I got the cat on the table now. She loves to get in the way of my shit now. Look, I love it. I love, I love the attention. It only really comes into play where I fucking hate it when I'm playing Smash. I get mad, and I'm like, oh, my life. <laughs> Though it is a very good gaming John to be able to say, uh, "My cat's in the way. She's making it so I can't play." I don't know. I I appreciate Shuffle. That's like, stop eating my 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 fruit, you fucking cock. Because nobody knows anything about Shuffle. And the people that do know things about Shuffle and the people that do make content about Shuffle are not the kind of people that want to be playing that goddamn party game. You know, they're like the, the kinds of people that are like, want to fucking point out like, this game that nobody knows about just because they can. And they found one, right? But who the fuck is gonna play? Who the fuck is gonna pick a Sonic game to 100% if they're not doing all of them and pick Shuffle? What the fuck? Like, what? I'm very excited to make content on Shuffle. I think that'll really be a big pop-off for me. I have a half-written script that I'll de delve from. I need to do it again. Just because I, I, I couldn't keep writing about Shuffle. Until I was on Shuffle for so long that when I was at work or when I was on my own spare time, I would just fucking start writing. I'm like, what else do I do? I There's nothing more to do. And I think about this game so much to the point where I'm just like, I might as well start writing the video script. And I wrote like a good like third of it. <laughs> so, Thankfully, I did beat the game before I finished the entire video script. Uh, and I got that final thing done, which was just beautiful. 
I know I'll never get stuck on a game as much as I got stuck on, on Shuffle. That's the one thing getting me through Shadow right now, is that I'm just... Besides the fact that I, I don't mind just, like, oh, fuck. Um, that I, I don't mind just keep going, is, is that, like... No, I'm done with that, dude. I don't... I don't, like... I have the power to get through this. I don't, I don't have to worry about this. It doesn't matter how bad or how unfinished the games are, chances are they're completable. And and I generally, I, I don't mind if a game is actually completely impossible to beat. Because that, that means that it's out of my hand, you know? Now that might uh, sound like, just like, I'm, I'm the kind of person that's not going to trudge new ground or whatever. But I, I mean, when I, fi I look at this and I'm like, it's impossible. You know, and I, I definitely, like, I look at every fucking aspect of a task like that, and I'm like, is this actually possible? And if there's even a slight chance, where do I get these? I always get here, and I don't have any. I gotta go back. Shit, I think I need to take some with me. I think I gotta go all the way back. Where do you keep the things, my bro? Shouldn't have hit those guys with it, bro. No... Oh, there we go. There's some up on top. How do I get up there? Oh. Let's go. What was I talking about? Um. Fuck. Minor mistake in gameplay completely makes me lose my train of thought. Probably something interesting. Hell if I know. I can act like generally a, a good portion of these runs that I play, I, I can just like completely zone my brain out. This is like the same thing over and over again. Smashing X makes this section completely like I don't need to go through it. I've never swapped a lane on this. I never want to. Like it gave up the chase. Oh, there's another one to go to. Wait, wait, wait. I remember. Oh, oh, I remember what I was talking about. See, I go to, I go to the fucking scenery of where I was. I gotta go back into the other room to remember where I was and pick my conversation up because I fucking left it back there. Like I was saying, like, uh, and there's even a slight chance, you know. I will, I will spend such an extreme amount of time to get. Just uh, over obsession uh, on just something so trivial and so t stupid, you know, just to get it done. I, I really try for perfection on almost everything I do. Like, so that's why shuffle was a very specific kind of pain because I I was like, there's no way they didn't make this possible. Nice. Not here. Amazing. Like, I, I, I could not feasibly even comprehend how I was missing an event. I, I... It was a rabbit hole. That's that's what it was. I think I looked at every single internet page relating to that fucking game. That's how few people played the game. And nice to know that these are back here. I mean, they had, like, pages and pages of, uh, there was an upload. What really got me going is there was this upload on, I think it was, like, a resource site. You know how you have Spriders resource? I think it was just video game resources. And... I don't want to die, bro. Oh, I'm going to drop this anyway, I just realized. And it had, you know, they have all their little events in the game. And it had, like, ones that I wasn't quite sure. That I, I wasn't, like, paying attention. I wasn't quite sure whether or not I had gotten those events. That's the thing that sucked. Is up until then, when I was playing, and I finished the story mode. Oh, shit. I was just, like, I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't know. I, I wasn't thinking I have to write down the events. You know, and that I, I saw that room where it said, like, events, minigames, and I was like, oh, this is gonna, this is gonna suck. This is a counter. This goes on your save. 
that is something that definitely counts, you know. I didn't really think too hard about it, though I, I was. It was one of those things that I generally call, and I'm like, oh, this is going to fucking suck later. Because usually when I feel that way about something, I'm like, yeah, it, it crops up and it's back. I beat everything and I still One step needed those mini games and those events and I figured out that the mini games, you know, the whole way, I, there's too much to go into about that fucking game and the way it writes stuff down. It's insane. It's completely undocumented. And I, and I had to go and figure out like every single one of those things. Thankfully it'll be more than easy to go back and take a, take a, you know, a run back stream or in my own spare time just go on an emulator and, and figure out what counts as what, you know. I, I remember quite a bit about it. But it was just, okay. What was that? It was dark. Is that our second level? Or was that our third level? Shit. That was our third level. Thankfully, we did need to go dark three times. But holy shit, I totally like. I almost fucking made us go in the wrong direction, which isn't too bad. Because if I do the wrong thing in a, in a scenario like that, it's it's not too bad. Yeah, dark, dark, dark. And then after this boss fight, I think we're gonna want to go. Let's see where we're number six. Yeah, we're gonna go hero after this. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We're on track. Holy shit. The easiest boss fight in the history of Shadow the Hedgehog so far. A little bit less easy when he's in the gun. Uh, there's, there's far too much to think about when it comes to Shad or uh, to Sonic Shuffle. But it was just completely ridiculous. It was fun though. It, it, it was like it was like a Professor Layton game, you know? Like it was I never I never was able to beat those kinds of like games where you just have to like detective and figure things out. I would get stuck in them when I was a kid because I was a dumb dumb idiot that overthink set in the wrong way. So like It was finally nice being able to solve shit, and I, I was, it was so triumphant when I figured it out. Got it on an emulator, and it was like, oh my god. Yes, it all makes sense. Some of it makes sense. It is, like, it was actually fucking stage and character specific. Or I think it was just character specific. But some of them more stage specific? I don't really remember. It's been too long. Uh, when I do make the videos, though, I'm gonna watch, or at least listen to, a majority of the VODs. I mean, I have to, to cut them up. I, that'll be weird. It's gonna be a weird time when there's no games left. Mr. President, there's an emergency. But, man. And then I was just waiting and looking for it. It was beautiful. It was fucking beautiful. Now, Heroes. It was painful. There were some things that just didn't make a lot of sense. I spent get, getting to that game when I first got into it. I did a very very short stream. What are we doing? Hero, right? Yeah, we're doing hero. Detonate the massive bomb. You need to find the smaller bombs before time runs. <laughs> I mean, chicken gun. Good timing. I think I just run around like a dickhead in this level. Like a guy right up ahead that has the gun I'm looking for. You know, when I when I finally got to playing that game, and I mean playing like a lot of that game, I just I really was I was kind of dead inside after SA2. SA2 was a nice peak. I, if SA2 wasn't after Shuffle, I can't say for certain because I think anything would have made me feel better. But I may not, you know. I, I obviously would have completed it. I mean. We're talking bullshit when I, when I, if I'm, if we're saying that, like, Shuffle would have made me stop playing, or Shuffle would have made me quit. If anything, Shuffle's the reason I'm still here. Shuffle's the reason I'm still fucking doing this shit, because it was so triumphant, bro. I won. I beat Shuffle. That was, that was amazing. Come on, we don't have time to just oh, you fucking Those dick. Are going to in a few minutes. Camera. Camera. Oh, we gotta hurry. I think that's a uh, spin jump. Oh! Damn! What the fuck, here. bro? That's 
hard. Okay, we definitely don't want to punch them, because that makes us lose. And there are more than enough for us to win, so as long as we never punch them, we need to go. And heroes, though, that's pretty much just talking about what makes me want to play this game less. Like, I think it's just a mixture of how long this is, how fucking long this game is. It is so long. And, uh, well, the game before this was built on the same engine, and was very, very fucking painful. Hero has got to be one of the most painful games I've played so far. I was just, I, it was my dream game as a child. I wanted it non-fucking-stop growing up, and I never got it. When I did get to playing it in this, it was just... I definitely outgrew it, you know. Ready oh, come on, come on, bro. Okay. Uh, I mean, the gameplay is just... It's just not fun for me. It might be fun for someone else. Generally, I do feel, though, like the majority of people that do like heroes and, and want to play a lot of heroes, they don't... There's no fucking way they like getting the true ending whenever they play. I can definitely say that most people that play SA2, they're like, yeah, let's fucking go. Let's get that true ending, baby. Why did that blow up? I don't remember where I'm supposed to be going. I think it's this way. Dude, why? Don't fucking blow those up. Okay, we'll just, like, fucking walk around with our dick out here because we have 30. This is a hard one. Hard because it's new. That's pretty much all this fucking game comes out to is that it's hard because it's new. The second I played it for more than like three seconds, it's so easy. I don't know. If there's a game I never want to play again, it's not Heroes. Or, I mean, not Heroes. I'm sorry. It's not uh, Shuffle. Why does it blow up, bro? I need you. Go left. Not that I'm openly uh, willing, you know, on the front lines here to go back to playing shuffle and doing it again. Uh, that would make me an insane person. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. You could, you could definitely say that if there was an open seam and there was a tear coming off of that open seam. There, oh, that's, that's not death. Uh, where the fuck are we going? This is not correct. Let me up, bro. There we go. I don't know. We don't want to go this way. I definitely say that Shuffle created that, uh, that, that original hole in the seam. You know, but... But heroes away. tore that shit open, bro. I'm, I'm like, oh man, <laughs> these games are not fun. If it's a popular game, you know, and you don't like it, that can be disheartening. That can, that can feel like shit. I felt that with heroes a lot, because everybody likes heroes. Everyone thinks it's like the one of the best in the series. I'm like, I don't, I don't see it. I don't Ultra feel it. Position. Most people are like, I didn't see it. You didn't play the fucking game, you prune. <laughs> like, I didn't feel it. I played the game. No, bro. We're running out of them. Stupid fucking... Shut up. Okay, I think we look back around to the beginning. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn it. Um. Oh wait, we we def yeah we're definitely in the beginning again. Um. Huh. We're running out of time. 
It's okay, though. Three minutes. I mean, eight. It's just so many have blown up. I'm a little worried. You know. Sorry, going right here. Remember, I think we go down that pipe. I must have made one wrong turn. There's like one. A singular wrong turn. If you want to go for a ride, just step on up and it doesn't help that when I'm alone, I just generally feel like making more conversation when I play this game on random crap. It's, it's good. It's fun to unload my mind and talk about random shit, you know. Um, no, not that way. I don't really want to go right back there. I don't know. I'm so used to traveling these ways. Can you go this way? You know, it may take another video guide just to beat this one and really solidify. Because the other one, what? I did it once, Mona helped me, but once I look at the guide and I'm like looking at it, I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense, you know. Let's try going right here. Okay, there we go. Shit, this fucking green shit's like GTA 5 rain. I like, can't control my car. Here we go, we're finding some. There's one over there too. Alright. Yeah, we're going the right way. Got a minute and 30 left. Not feeling too good, needing six. Uh, we got our save point. We may restart. I don't know, I'm just gonna hold down the gun and... Fucking holding down the gun sucks. Please, sir. Let me on. There was an open area over here. We did miss like a fuck ton. Where's the other one? Okay, we got one. These are all blowing up like crazy. If you could stop blowing- oh, What am I doing that's blowing them up, bruh? Stop it. Uh. 30 seconds left. Hopefully there'll be three just all stacked along here all neatly. There's one. If I could be going beast mode, that would make my life easier. I hate the C-stick on this thing. Ooh. Oh my god, it sucks in like something from so far away. Okay, stop. I need one more. Where is it? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Pog. Okay. That was as close as fucking possible. Holy shit. Such a cowardly attempt to take the city. Unbelievable. Ridiculously close, man. And an A rank. You can't fail that one. It was like, you can't. Cat gave up. She just said, I got a thing. Man, my throat's feeling like shit. I need to go in, uh. I don't know. Get that sorted out. Maybe I'll take a quick 10 second intermission, make some hot chocolate or something, you know. Uh oh. Awesome general saluting our president. What a good dude. I blame I I have to blame heroes for if there was a game to blame I don't I don't know if it really works like that gun has you need to stop all of the black arms so we want hero there you're gonna be becoming a lot less of a bad guy as this goes on go get this back up here number six all right, we did that. Now we're going to do dark one more time and end it off with hero. So, bad guy. Gun. Destroy that oh, leaders fuck, this one's hard. All right, let's go. Way to go Shadow. This is gonna be easy. <laughs> no, it's not, you dick. I think we, we decided on dick gun that it's good. Somehow, 
Oh shit. What the hell is going on? Somehow, this game has a better translation than fucking Heroes does. Heroes is so bad. This game, I think that translation on this is just, like, ridiculously, like, just... Generally, it's not terrible, it's just there are some things that I don't want to talk about that just, I'm like, how, what? This is, so, this is for Western audiences that speak English. How, how do you not know anything about how we fucking talk, bro? I don't know, man. It's a different time. That would not have flown today. And I'm just like... Besides that little splotch, I, I don't... I, there hasn't been that many moments with the voice direction that I'm like... Oh, man. This 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 sucks, bro. We're going this way. No! Yo! Fuck off! Are you kidding me? Fuck off! Fuck this fucking thing. Shoot the goddamn thing! Shoot at it! Oh my god. Well, I fucked that up. Where are you at? Why are you zipping, zooming? Holy shit. Have I already failed? It's done. Maybe this gun blows ass. Maybe I need shadow gun. Dude, he's just zipping. Fuck it. Oh, no, 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 no. He's zipping, zooming. Oh, there's no way to swap it into a slow path here anyways. I just can't fucking shoot this guy. When he turns, you can't shoot him. Oh, God. Let, you know what? Let's just go and restart. I'm, I'm, I'm tight on that one, bro. I fucking tapped it again, and then he decides to go that way and not. Bro was actually already in the process of turning. How? I think almost everything... I, I genuinely believe that Heroes was like Google translated, bro. Like, how do you fuck up that bad? They're over here, too! No matter how many we defeat, they just keep coming! They're firing laser turrets! Jump! When you stick to the wall during a triangle jump, you can run forward a little. You've only got it. I don't know what, you, fall, bro, you know, Sega fire. did with the distribution of Heroes, but I, I genuinely believe that they... Whatever they did, marketing, or whatever they did to get that game into so many fucking people's hands growing up, I just... So many people are so fucking, uh... Like, out of any song game, it, it definitely holds the most nostalgia. Most people can agree in that, at least. Like... Hell, even I, like, I saw that as a kid, and it, it made me want to play really bad. Alright, bro. better. Uh, the chase ones will always be the hardest stages. Whatever the way is that I, I play this game, we should probably just take this down. Because these guys are all carrying it. Yeah, whatever, whatever way I play this game... It's like incorrect. Because I struggle really bad on these stages that are actually timed and have a, a risk to them. You know, most of these stages you, you can't fuck up too bad. And we are fucking him up right now. Oh my god. I may be just wrong on these stages, specifically this one, and you might just have to, uh... Oh shit. I guess you're off on me. I wish you could aim on these, you know? Uh, maybe the best way is just for me to get to the end. Screw off. You might actually just have to shoot the right thing. Like how the that engine is smoking on the one side, you, it may do overall damage, but like I think doing those give you a bonus or something. Son of a bitch. Shoot this bastard. 
I wouldn't even really say that, uh, yeah, we're not gonna win. Um, I, that, like, shadow is that edgy. The edgiest it gets is, like, I'm fucking trying, like, I'm so insane about trying to fucking fuck the president here, and it's just that, that is, like, what am I saying? Why am I feeling this way? Why is this game making me have to hunt the, uh, the president? But, I mean, I was feeling that during SA2, you know, trying to catch up to the president's car. When I first played that one, I wasn't as aggressive as Shadow is about it, but generally most of the edgy beats and stuff of Shadow have been done before in other Sonic games. I don't feel that way about this game. I think that the menu stuff was hard. It looks so pretty. Red is good. I think blue would be like, you know, slow, it's like frozen. Oh my god, this guy gets by me every time I play something. Like, how? There's Houdini. New gun. Probably does more damage. Well, if I had one. Every time, bro. I definitely don't ever. I, I hate coming, and it, like when I, when I say it, you know, I, I come into the conclusion of like, or at least approaching. Sonic fans and just immediately think, where is this fucking guy? Holy shit, what a dick. Approaching Sonic fans and just immediately dropping like, oh my god, here's bad, you know, when they're like that. Because like, I never want to do that. I just, it, it, it is hard for me because it just, it, it feels like I'm surrounded by people that just don't get it. Majority when I talk to Sonic fans, or people in general, I, I think everyone's a Sonic fan <laughs> to some extent. I don't actually talk to that many people that like have like Sonic as their PP and that's like their inter entire personality. All right, this is the place to get on this thing and just go. I will say though, like, I've, I've had that in the past where I, I would just be like, well, you know, some people are born right in this world, oh, this is... and then some people are born with the wrong opinion, and that's okay, you know, you do you, man. I hate how I have the urge to do that, but if and when I do make my Heroes is Bad propaganda video, I want, I, I don't actually want to offend people that think, oh shit, that, people that, like, uh, oh my god, what the fuck, dick, people that think that, uh, heroes are, like, it's, it's such a common belief, you know, and I'm gonna say right now, it comes entirely from the fact that we, everybody just played it and grew up with it and thought it was awesome. Uh, nobody's really actually played the full fucking game for what it is, bro. Please die. And I don't think many people have come back to the game and, and played like a full playthrough. If we did that with all Sonic games, I think we'd be in a much more like-minded situation. My cat is pulling <laughs> the shit at me. Behold the ultimate power! I think a lot more people would agree. Right. Oh my god, that's not gonna work. Can I skip this? Don't kill me. That was fucking hype. Yes, me. 141 ammo, we've got this. Get to the end and just unload on that guy. my cow in hand while I play. I just think that a, a Heroes is a, and there's nothing wrong if you do like Heroes. Um, 
I just think that it's objective that the game is just kind of bad when compared to other Sonic games. It, it just doesn't feel very good at all. Where am I going? As I'm lost. How did I miss that? Oh, please don't fucking fail me. Please don't, like, beat me somewhere. I tried, my dude. <gasps> I didn't input that. I never thought about inputting that. I didn't do that! Oh, I have no ammo! Oh, no. Why do you take everything I love? Okay, there is a, a gun here. And I'll, I'll try taking that onto the thing. Dude, I didn't do that. That was a choke. I didn't do that. I pressed jump and B. Why would I press A? I, you take me for an idiot? I'm saying heroes suck, so a majority probably do. I just like... It wasn't smoking or anything. It resets the hole, but I guess it re doesn't reset the damage of it. The guns on those are really good. I had no if, uh, choice. I need you know, to know the truth. I use those more. Oh, Lila. Cute cat. Uh, it's just not. It's not fun. It's not good. I I think Heroes though, it it does something very interesting and new for the series. It just at the same time that's its downfall. Playing as three guys at once and swapping off is not fun. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. Play with their gritted teeth. Right. You all share the same health. Sir, are you all right? One guy got knocked down. If you played as one at a time, like actually one at a time, and the other guys weren't running around, it might be. It just feels cluttered 24/7. No need to worry, sir. I'm sorry, I feel that way. So that was our bad guy route. Writing this down is becoming very difficult because of my cat. Why is it not writing? Here we go. Dork. This is our last one. Hold your we already here. fought our boss. Are we doing good guy or bad guy? I think we're doing bad guy again? No, we're doing good guy. Good thing I looked that up, so... We'll just get to the end. That's fun. Let me leave. There we go. I just hope I can... I can... My, my opinion on heroes being bad isn't as aggressive as it comes off as a lot of the time. I just think it's very, it's very interesting, you know, usually I, I have a very, uh, to most people, once I explain it, it's a very grounded opinion on things, you know, it's one opinion of mine that actually is pretty goddamn radical and crazy, and, uh, I don't know. Come on, men, familiar terrain gives us the advantage. Oh, I, I definitely, like, the way I talk on stream or to, like, people personally about it will be a lot less, uh, you know, it'll be a lot more, like, listing facts and stuff as opposed to, uh, you're just saying it's bad. It just, I just can't believe it. Um, usually when people are very un... Because I, I think a, gen, a, a good majority of it is that people are un... uneducated on the game. Well, that's cool. I forgot to do that. That's, that's an objective fact. People just don't know a whole lot about heroes. If you ask somebody how, like, what counts as 100%, they're like, Where's the last guy? There he is. You know, hard mode what? Huh? Oh, yeah, no, I, I played hard mode I uh, on my emulator. Um, because I used the 100% thing, you know. Oh, the final story? Yeah, I went ahead and I played a Sonic, and then I played the final story. It was so cool. Shadow. The black aliens have broken their way through. They've got to be after the chaos emerald. There's some point where I had an opinion on something that kind of went like, you know, most people start up, like, I think it was like, 
lost something. Either it was SA1 or SA2 or some crazy thing, and like just, they just played a Sonic, and then, you know. Shut up, bro. And then they didn't play the rest of the game, you know. I think it was when I was playing SA1 or something like that. Probably at some point where I was just not having fun. Maybe it was the mech levels, maybe it wasn't. Though looking back, I, I you know what, the mech levels aren't that bad. They're very easy. They're very easy to go through. I think what I didn't enjoy a lot of was the fucking stupid knuckles. I, I collect a thon thing isn't really my thing to get the thing done. Not fun. But uh, that's besides why I don't even mind it, honestly. Honestly, it, it, they're, they're fun. They're just not as fun as running around as Sonic and Shadow. I, I can hardly even remember how a lot of the shit goes in uh, SA1. Oh, yeah, it, it must have been SA1. Though a lot of people I do get here, uh, SA2, getting a lot of flack over Adventure 1. Just because of the fact that, you know, the mech levels people don't like. The funny thing is you get into a mech level really fast in SA2. After playing one, uh, I, I don't really remember in SA1 if you, how quickly you get into the alt levels in that game. You know, you gotta play as, uh... I, I think the thing about SA1 is actually, is that the story of it... I remember, you actually just play all the way through as a character. That's why they love it. But, it doesn't fucking matter. If you want the true ending, you have to play as everybody. I gotta just jump and go straight this way. My memory. Oh, where's air attacking game? I missed that. It's like not in this game. Like in SA1. Everybody would just play fucking. Yeah, that, that was it. Everyone would play fucking Sonic in SA1 and then like. Be like, alright, well that was fun. That was SA1. I got the ending. It was one of the endings. I don't get a every ending for it to be my playthrough of the game, but like, that's not a Sega once you play the easy games. They only fuck these games up the ass to get the true ending. Like, if you want that true ending, you have to do a marathon of these stupid fucking other character levels. One bullet to blow these doors down. However, in SA2, you know, you may get into a mech level right after you play a Sonic one, but at least it, it, it feels a lot better than playing every single one in a row and then going to every single one in a row, you know, like... Doing a Sonic level, then going to one, and going to the other, it, it feels very fresh, and is good for storytelling. That's another thing, like, SA2 is on, obviously man. just objectively better than advantage. one. In a lot of ways, in terms of its levels and just gameplay flow. But you'll have people going on one end or the other about it. Um... It's just, it's just, it's just hard, you know, because a lot of people will play one all the way through and then they won't play it all the way through. The thing is, a lot of people that played one, like two all the way through didn't play one all the way through, you know? And why would you? That's, that's the problem and one of my biggest problems why I started the series is that it's so hard to be a, a educated Sonic fan. Oh no. Just for the very fact that to get the knowledge from these games if you're not, like, just reading every Wikipedia and watching someone else and, like, regurgitating their opinion of it on their video is, like, the only way is to actually play these fucking games. They're so hard to, like, play all, like, get the full story, you know, and have an actual fucking very educated opinion, you know? It's that way with a lot of games, but I mean, when it comes to being a Mario fan, you don't have that fucking problem. Only other things is, like, Final Fantasy and, like, Kingdom Hearts, you know, at least with Kingdom Hearts like fucking three games. Sorry, you can play the other ones, but it doesn't really matter. Sonic's main games and shit where stuff happens is so hard to play them all and like get the true ending. Even if I was just doing a true ending series on this, it would still be a lot. 100% is like, well, I'm already doing it, let's just make it fucking some earth groundbreaking shit, right? 
be... What are we doing after this? I think we just fight the boss and we're done now. Because we need a hero. So generally, with Sonic opinions, why people are like, Sonic community is so toxic, because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's all regurgitated opinions and shit, because like, nobody fucking plays these games. And the people that do play all of these games are insane. You should never take an opinion I have for... For the fucking... The, no the fact of God, because I'm insane. Why am I, I playing all of these games? To uncover the truth about my past. I don't know. I, I genuinely do think that the few people that, like, the kinds of people that would play all of these games and, like, get the trainings and, like, learn every fucking piece of lore from actually involving themselves in the game, like, those are the kinds of people that must be, like, like some kind of, like, reviewer or YouTuber or critic or something. I mean, good God, bro. And so, you're putting that opinion out there and that opinion, you know, you make the video for it, right? And a lot of people are going to watch that popular video on that subject and they'll just be like, well, this guy knows what he's talking about, so I'm going to listen to him. So, you know, that doesn't always guarantee that that person's going to have the best fucking opinion. That happens on a lot of things, but... Oh, what the fuck is this gun? You know, I'm definitely in the war to have the fucking... I'm in the running race to have the best opinion out of those people. Just Whether or not, you know, like, it's objectively the best opinion or whatever, but like... Like, I've actually 100% of these games, and spend more fucking time on this shit. Not always where that time matters. But, Sega, the thing that interests me about this is that Sega, out of almost any fucking game company that does these things, they want you to 100% these games. I've never really played a fucking game, and been just so assaulted with, with like, like, you need to get everything. Go do it. We're gonna give you something for doing it. I think Heroes is one of the best examples of that. It's actually ridiculous how much you have to play that game to get the true ending. To get, really, a lot of people, when, when, if there was, like, the true ending for Heroes didn't exist, it, it, it would literally, like, it's the only argument for, like, there being worth in that fucking game for the, for the story. Everything up until the end is just regurgitated crap of like and the writing is so fucking it isn't even terrible it's just the 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 line delivery and the translation is so like terrible it's it's like laughably terrible if it wasn't the first sonic game to really do those pretty cutscenes just like oh oh my god it's so fucking bad <laughs> But the ending is amazing. Oh my god, Metal Sonic finally got a reason, you know, something cool. And it's like, fucking, this goes hard, bro. And then it's, you can only see that if you've played the game like four times, I believe. You have to beat the game as every guy. And I don't care if it's like, you're playing as different guys, the levels are slightly different. It's the same goddamn level. I played that game... I, to 100% get A-ring on every single guy in the I had to play that game so much to know, like, yeah. The Emi levels are just, like, cut-down versions of the Sonic ones. And the fucking shit. Team, team Dark ones are just harder Sonic ones. And the, the other guys' ones just have some weird thing. And it's also the Sonic one. Sometimes the Amy one. It's... It's crazy. Oh my god, this guy is not only gonna hit him. Black Beam is such a snore fest. It's just fucking... At first, I just thought it wasn't supposed to look like that. Why does he just float like that? This guy needs better animations. Um... I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, there we go, we're hitting him. That was a lot. Uh, I need that one ring really bad. Oh shit, I should have been going crazy. He's back. And he doesn't even let me hit him until he's thrown his stupid fucking rock. 
I must find him. Oh my god, he's so done for! There we go. Oh my god! You cannot fucking like jump scare me like that. I'm sorry, I thought you saw me walk. No, I'm in my own world. What? Sorry, I said good good fathers don't camp their sons out like that. Sorry to yeah. disappoint, but um, this ugh. is the end. Sorry. Alright. <laughs> okay, hang on. Yeah, what? Go where? Oh crap, I just realized I have a uh, doctor's appointment for my tooth. I just chipped it. Well, that's not bad because I'm, I'm like at the end of this here. So, I'm going. I'm getting my shoes Woo! on. Just can't even tell. This is weird. This is one run. It's alright. It's one, one closer. Oh. oh my god. Rare Gurgi sighting. Well, I'm gonna get my tooth checked on. Hopefully, I'll play more today. I most certainly will. No, yeah, she's been chilling with me. Oh. Alright. Let me go get ready.